right, welcome to Sin City. I'm Chris Lombardi. We're all here to celebrate Matador's 21st anniversary party. Let's get into trouble, baby. Come on. DJ Paul E.D. right now is blowing shit up. It is going buck wild. So when we decided, you know, where we wanted to, uh, to do this event, and we thought, what's the essence of Matador? And we all decided, we knew what that one word was. Greed. That's why we're here, in the center of greed, and sin, Las Vegas, Nevada. Honestly, I wasn't that enthusiastic about it. It seemed like kind of a weird thing. Yeah, why? Yeah, people people say to us, why Vegas? Why Vegas? I mean, it kind of started as a joke, and then it just became a, a seemingly good idea over time. So he thought, what could be more wrong than Las Vegas? Totally counterintuitive. Now we're going to enter the world famous Pearl Concert Theater. All the action's going to happen. Well, music action. Looks like they're setting up pavement's uh, string of lights here. This is not a, your usual show in that, you know, everyone's here for a long period of time. They're here for three days and they want to come celebrate with their families and, and whatnot. So, we sort of sectioned off these two places for the artists really to have some room to breathe a little bit. But they'll be everywhere. I mean, the place is, you know, very fluid and it's in the way people can hang out and, and enjoy the show, so. There's no better way to, to do something different than to steal someone else's great idea. And I don't know if you've ever been to one of the All Tomorrow's Parties events before. The one thing I always loved about it was that, that whole experience of forcing the bands and the fans to essentially be stuck together for three days. But of course, you know, we, we, had to, we had to put the Matador spin on it, which is to say, we're gonna, we're gonna go to Las Vegas. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna go up to the Hardwood Suite, which is where we're gonna kick off the event with our gala opening party. It's called the Hardwood Suite. I'm not really sure why they call it that, but we'll find out when we get there. Here it is, the Palm Las Vegas Hardwood Suite. Hi, my name is Damien, lead singer of the band Fucked Up, and I'm here to show you around Matador at 21. Find out what people are doing today. We're gonna to talk to some celebs. It's gonna be a fun day. Come on, follow me. Come on, follow me to a very special place. This is the Hardwood Suite. Named the name so because of this amazing basketball setup they have here. What you are seeing now is proof that indie rock kids suck at sports and that's why they don't like it. I got the rim. By indie rock standards, that's worth 10 points. Okay, this guy's gonna try and make this shot. If you make this shot, Matador will give you $1,000. That close. He was close. Come on. We're gonna show them how it's done. Yo, pass me a ball! It was kind of deflated. The ball was kind of deflated. It didn't have the right bounce to it. You're forgiven. You can, if you want $1,000, 
Ask that dude DJing right now. That's Gerard. He owns the label. He'll give you $1,000. If he asks, tell him Stephen Malcolm has sent you. <laughs> This is Dean, head of True Panther. Dean, you've had quite a year of success, haven't you? Yeah. Put out some good records. Yeah, and now this entire hardcore suite is mine. Is know? your room? Is your room? What is the worst record Matador has ever put out? Uh, we can't. I think it was fucked up. Um, Terrible. What that album was called, I can't remember. Terrible. Terrible. This is Gabe. Gabe, what's the worst record Matador has ever put out? Uh developer by Silkworm and I will tell you that Silkworm is one of my favorite bands in the history of Matador but aside from Never Met a Man I Didn't Like that record is fucking unlistenable that's the first person who said a record that he thought but Firewater is the best record they ever put out so. go figure go figure From uh, Kurt Vile and the Violators, not his real name. Yes, it is. No, it's not. He's lying. You know it is. I know it is. This is Kurt, one of my favorite artists on Matador. Kurt, Kurt, na Kurt name five of the records that have come out on Matador. Well, there's uh, Mission of Burma, Signal Calls and Marches. There's uh, Richard Hell, Time. There's like Pavement, Crooked Rain. There's uh, Cat Power, You Are Free. There's... Uh, Liz Fair exile in exile on Main Street. Anyway, I'm gonna put on some clothes, and then we're gonna go out and uh, talk to some uh, 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 upstanding citizens that are gambling their life savings away. We don't